Hi everyone, this is Anson from AnsonAlex.com and in this video I'm going to show you how you can add hanging indents to Google Docs documents. So here I am in Google Docs and you can see I have a works cited open. That's often what hanging indents are used for, bibliographies, that sort of thing. And so I'm going to show you a few different methods, but the first one I think is the easiest. I'm just going to select my entire document. So I have everything in my document selected. I could press Command A, Control A to select all as well. And then I'm going to go up to the Format dropdown, and I'm going to go to Align and Indent. And then from here, I'm going to click on Indentation Options. Now in Indentation Options, I'm just going to set my special indent to Hanging. You'll notice that by default it sets it to 0.5. That's pretty standard, but you can change that if you'd like. And we need to just make sure that both the left and right indents start at zero. So once we have that all filled out, we'll just click on Apply. And you'll notice that our document is now indentated properly, where we have the second line of each citation is now indented. Okay, great. So that's one way to do it. However, I'm going to show you a couple of other ways as well. So I'm just going to undo that indentation. And I'm going to show you how to do it with the rulers. So I'm just going to select the citation where I'd like the second line to be indented. And I'm going to go up here to the top to the rulers. And I'm going to grab this triangle and I'm going to drag it to the right however far I want that second line to be indented. And I'm just going to grab the rectangle at the top and I'm going to drag it back to zero. And you notice that that line is now formatted correctly. It can be a little bit tricky when you are clicking on these two different symbols up here. So make sure that you get it right on top of either the rectangle or the triangle. And so then we could go down here and we could do the same thing, you know, for this work cited. You can see why I recommend the other option because this method does take a little bit longer. But if you just have one uh, citation to do, you know, this might be quicker. So that's how you can do it manually. And I'm going to show you one other method as well. It's probably not the best way, but it does work. So let me just go ahead and undo this formatting and what we're going to do this time is we're just going to click at the end of this first line and then I'm going to hold shift on my keyboard and press enter or return and then I'm going to press tab and then I can just delete that little extra space that got added in there and so you'll notice that this should be right about at 0.5 as well so you can see there it is so uh, that works as well um, some of your teachers may not like you doing it that way, but uh, it does work. So it's another way to complete the assignment. So that's how you can add hanging indents to Google Docs. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, I would really appreciate a thumbs up here on YouTube. And if you want to see more technology tips and tutorials, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's all I have for you for now. This is Anson from AnsonAlex.com.